Ashley sits at her computer table in a cozy corner of her room, adorned with posters featuring various fantasy characters. Her D&D &D character sheet is spread out before her along with pencils and dice, ready for the evening's adventure. The air is filled with an excited energy as she eagerly anticipates joining Meteora in their shared world of Eberon through video chat. Meanwhile, across town at Meteora's house, they also sit at a computer table strewn with character sheets and dice. They have already logged into the online platform that will serve as their virtual game board tonight. The room is dimly lit, except for the glow of the monitor, casting an ethereal light upon them both. Once Ashley connects to the call, they'll be able to see each other and start playing together in real time. After a few moments of talking with Meteora, finally being able to connect, you smile brightly at them as you can't help but gush excitedly, oh my goodness. It's so great to finally see you, Meteora. This is going to be the best D&D &D session ever. Meteora grins in reply, I couldn't agree more, Ashley. They say with a chuckle. Now that we finally have everything set up and can see each other, are you ready to dive into the world of Eberon? As if on cue, an elaborate map materializes above their gaming table, showing off various cities, forests, mountains, rivers, and even a few small islands dotting the landscape. There's also a miniature version of your characters standing in front of you both, Ashley as a half-elf sorcerer named Lorelei Redwood, and Meteora playing an elf rogue by the name of Silent Whisper. All right then, continues Meteora, why don't we start with rolling for initiative? They gesture to their character sheet as they roll a d20 underneath it. Roll on 20 and add your initiative bonus, usually your dexterity modifier, to determine the order in which characters take their turns in combat. Sounds good, you say, nodding at your fellow adventurer and rolling for initiative yourself. Your die bounces on the table a few times before coming to rest. When Meteora checks their total against yours later, it'll determine who goes first in combat, should that arise during tonight's session. As you both await the outcome of your rolls, feel free to ask any questions about the map or general setting information while waiting for initiative results. You carefully inspect the map and the miniatures of your characters placed on it Wow, this is such a cool map. I've always wanted to adventure in Eberon. Is there any specific area we're heading towards, or do you want to make our own path? Meteora glances at the map for a moment before looking back over at Ashley, their ears twitching slightly well. They begin thoughtfully, I've been wanting to check out this old ruin just south of here called the Forgotten Sanctum. There are rumors that it once belonged to an ancient civilization and is filled with treasure and magical artifacts. They pause for a moment before continuing, their eyes sparkling at the prospect of adventure. But we don't have to go there right away. If you want to explore other parts of the world or even make our own path, I'm totally down for that too. As Ashley considers their options, Meteora heads for the gaming table and spins it to reveal a new panel with countless ink spells inscribed on it. Perhaps we might venture toward the forbidden inkwell instead, they suggest, pointing to the corresponding area on the mat. There are said to be powerful ink spells and magical knowledge hidden within its depths, which would be quite beneficial for us both. However, the choice is entirely yours, Ashley.
Asherah looks intrigued by this new suggestion hem. Forbidden in Quell sounds like it could be really interesting, she says thoughtfully, leaning in closer to inspect the map. I'm not sure what sort of challenges we might face there, or how well our abilities would mesh with that kind of adventure, but... She glances over at Meteora before continuing. It sounds like a fun challenge, and something different from your usual haunts. She grins at her friend. Let's do it. The forbidden in Quell it is. As you begin to discuss the plan for the evening and get more comfortable, you start getting into character a bit more, using more dramatic hand gestures and an excited tone of voice as you describe what you want to do and see at the Forbidden in Quelso. I've heard that there are all sorts of magical inks and in Quells hidden within the ruins. Some say they grant incredible powers or can alter reality itself. Your eyes gleam with excitement as you imagine what sort of artifacts you might find and of course. We have to be careful not to fall prey to any traps or cursed items. Meteora tilts their head, curious I see, they say with a grin. Well then, I'm certainly glad to hear that. The Forbidden in Quell isn't like anything else we've encountered before. It promises to be an interesting challenge for both of us. They pause for another moment and glances around the room before continuing more seriously. There are rumors about strange creatures guarding its entrance, so I suppose it pays not only to rely on our magic, but also our stealth abilities. The place itself is said to be quite vast with many underground tunnels filled with traps and pitfalls. Meteora explains as they carefully plot out a path from their current position all the way down to the Forbidden in Quell using miniatures on the game board. But if we work together, I'm sure nothing will stand in our way. They turn back towards Asherah, with determination shining in their eyes. Indeed, it sounds like a grand adventure awaits us, Meteora exclaims cheerfully. Ah, I can't wait to experience the thrill of discovery and the excitement of facing new challenges alongside you. Ashley, together, we shall prevail and emerge victorious from the depths of the Forbidden Inquil, with powerful ink spells in our grasp. They flash a confident smile before reaching out to roll the dice once again, signaling the beginning of their perilous journey towards newfound magical knowledge and adventure. Ashura nods in agreement I'm looking forward to it, she says, her eyes gleaming with determination. We make a great team. Working together and trusting each other will be key if we want to survive this trip. She pauses for another moment, considering their options before speaking again. If you don't mind me asking, how do you plan on carrying all those ink spells back with us? I mean, she gestures towards the various magical tomes and scrolls strewn about Meteora's workshop floor. Those things look heavy. Chuckles softly are well. You know, when you're as light as air and made of ethereal energy like me, carrying stuff isn't really an issue, she grins. I can pretty much carry all the ink spells we'll need with ease, just as long as we find those alchemical vials first. Heavy they may be, chuckles Meteora, gesturing to a backpack that seems almost too small for all its contents. But with some clever use of magic and my own arcane abilities, I'll manage just fine. They wink at Ashura before glancing down at the map once more. All right then, they say as their eyes rove over the miniatures again, plotting out another series of moves in silence for several moments. Here is our path to follow. We should be there within a few hours if all goes according to plan. 
they tap one of the minis with an index finger. This is where I'll leave my current hideout and begin making my way towards the entrance. They explain as they move their miniature onto the spot indicated on the map, while you take point further down here. Their finger moves to indicate a different area nearby before continuing, and lure any guardians away from me while I sneak past unnoticed. Eh, that sounds like a plan, Meteora responds thoughtfully, but with all the ink spells we're about to collect, I'd better be ready to negotiate with any potential guardians or creatures we encounter. After all, a little charm and diplomacy can go a long way in avoiding unnecessary conflict. With an air of confidence, they pick up their miniature and make a move to the designated position on the map, preparing themselves for the upcoming adventure into the mysterious and dangerous forbidden inkwell. Ashura nods, understanding her part in their plan. Got it, she says quietly, before moving her own miniature into position to carry out her tasks. With a final look at each other, they begin making their moves simultaneously on opposite ends of the map room. The journey has begun. As you wait for your cue to start moving, you nervously twiddle your thumbs and eye the whole way before you warily so. What exactly am I looking for here? You ask me Tiora through the headset. Your voice sounds slightly tinny from having it transmitted electronically, but it carries clearly enough that you don't need to raise your volume too much. Meteora responds with a faint frown before they realize what Ashura is talking about. They smile apologetically, shaking their head to clear it and focusing back on the game board in front of them. Oh, right? Sorry about that. The mage pauses for another moment as if deep in thought, then nods decisively. You're looking for anything unusual, they explain, gesturing at various spots around Ashura's section of the map with a long quill pen instead of their finger due to being separated by several yards and multiple walls. Things that don't seem natural or out of place. Anything odd or suspicious. Got it, Ashura nods, glancing around the hallway carefully as she digests Nitura's instructions. She hands thoughtfully while examining the walls and floor for any signs of hidden passages or traps. Unusual, suspicious, bright. Keep an eye out for anything that doesn't belong here or seems out of place. With renewed determination, she straightens up and begins to carefully move forward, scanning her surroundings for any clues that might lead them closer to their goal. As you wait for Ashura to reply, Meteora concentrates once more on their own movements and strategy, mentally plotting out how best to navigate through this section of the map without attracting too much attention from any potential guards or traps that might be nearby. Nodding thoughtfully, you begin to think about where you'd like to go as well well. It looks like there are quite a few abandoned ruins around this area. Maybe we could check those out. Sometimes interesting things can happen in places like that. Meteora raises an eyebrow at Ashura's suggestion, but nods nonetheless. That's not a bad idea, they respond after a moment of consideration. They glance back down at their miniature on the game board and adjust its position slightly before continuing. Just be careful though, those ruins could also harbor traps or other hazards that might prove dangerous if we aren't prepared. Of course, Ashera replies with a nod, taking Meteora's warning to heart. She carefully considers her next move, weighing the potential risks against the possibility of uncovering valuable information or artifacts within the abandoned ruins. 
I'll proceed cautiously and keep my eyes open for any signs of danger, she assures Meteora, before beginning to maneuver her miniature towards the nearest set of ruins on the map. Nodding in agreement, Meteora concentrates once more on their own movements and strategies before speaking up again after a moment or two have passed. I'll try to keep an eye out from here too. Let me know if you need any assistance, they offer reassuringly as Ashura begins her trek towards the ruins. Ashley blushes slightly at Meteora's encouragement and nods gratefully thank you, silent whisper. I appreciate it. As she makes her way closer to the ruins, her gaze wanders over the stonework carefully, searching for any clues or weaknesses that might help them avoid traps. She calls out softly to Meteora, Hey, have you had any experience dealing with ancient magical traps before? I don't want us to get too close and set something off by accident. Thanks, I appreciate it. As she moves closer to the abandoned ruins on the map, Ashura tries to look for any obvious signs of danger or traps that might be lurking nearby. Her keen eyes pick up a few telltale indications here and there, rusty old tripwires dangling from broken stone archways leading into deeper parts of what once were grand halls now filled with rubble. The faint sound of something metal scraping against rock deep within an alcove that she can't quite see yet. It seems prudent to proceed cautiously at this point. Steady now, Ashara, Meteora murmurs through the headset, their voice filled with concern. It sounds like there might be something lacking in those ruins. Be extra careful and keep your wits about you. We can't afford any mishaps at this stage. As Ashara continues to investigate the area, Meteora glances around the game board once more, searching for any ink-related clues or mystical symbols that might lead them closer to the elusive spells they seek. Hum, it sounds like there might be something worth checking out in that alcove, remarks Meteora thoughtfully before falling silent for a moment to focus on their own actions and strategies once more. They glance up at Ashura occasionally as she approaches the ruins with caution, ready to offer assistance if needed but otherwise trusting her judgment in this situation since it's part of her area of expertise after all. Nodding solemnly, you carefully make your way towards the alcove, moving cautiously so as not to trigger any traps or tripwires should I just. Peek in from here. You ask hesitantly, not wanting to accidentally spring whatever might be waiting inside. Hearing Meteora's comment and seeing Ashura approach cautiously towards an alcove that could potentially hide something worth checking out, they nod in agreement with her initial plan of peeking inside first before going any further. That sounds like a good idea, they affirm encouragingly from where they stand nearby, but not too close as to risk accidentally getting hurt themselves if whatever's lurking there turns out to be hostile or dangerous for some reason. Yes, Ashura, take a careful look and see what you can find, Meteora advises, their voice filled with anticipation. As Ashura peeks into the alcove, they keep a watchful eye on her miniature on the game board, ready to help her if anything unexpected happens, or if she discovers something particularly intriguing or relevant to their quest for ink spells. Their mind races with possibilities and potential ink-related treasures awaiting discovery in the ruins. Ashura carefully peeks into the alcove, her eyes narrowed in concentration as she tries to make out what's inside him. It looks like there might be something shiny. 
she says with a frown of consternation before continuing. I can see part of an old chest sticking out from behind some rubble. After determining that the area seems safe, you carefully clear away the rubble and dust from around the chest, revealing it to be quite large and well made. Curiosity getting the better of you, you attempt to open it. Meteora's eyes widen in excitement at this discovery, an ancient treasure, perhaps. Even better, they trail off thoughtfully before continuing more eagerly. It could be a source of some long-lost ink spells. The sorcerer takes a step closer to the alcove and whispers encouragingly to Ashera. See if you can find any way past those obstacles blocking your path to the chest. You might be onto something there, Meteora, Ashera replies as she carefully scans for any potential hazards that could hinder her approach to the chest. I'll see if I can clear a safe path and get a better look at what's hiding behind that rubble, she adds to Termadu before starting to carefully edge her way into the alcove, keeping an eye out for any traps of dangerous surprises along the way. I'm here to help, just say when, replies Meteora, ready and eager to assist Ashura in retrieving whatever might be hidden within that alcove. They glance back at their character on the game board, studying its position relative to the obstacles blocking access to the chest, before looking expectantly toward Ashera once more. Grateful for Meteora's support, you start planning your next move well. We could try using my nature magic to push aside some of the debris blocking the way. Or maybe I could attempt to climb over it. What do you think? All right, says Ashra with a determined nod, grunting slightly as she begins pushing against some of the larger rocks, blocking her path to the chest. I'll need your help on this one. She pauses for a moment before continuing, clearly considering another course of action. If you can cast Feeble Mind, that might slow down any guardians or traps inside. Meteora nods in agreement and focuses on casting the Feeble Mind spell, channeling their ink-based magic into the game world to weaken any potential guardians or traps lurking near the chest. There you go, Ashira, they say encouragingly, their voice filled with determination. Let me know if you need any more helpants, as you make your way closer to the treasure. Of course, exclaims Meteora, already concentrating on casting their spell. A moment later, a faint buzzing fills the air, and one of the boulders blocking Ashura's path begins to wobble slightly before collapsing with an audible clatter onto the ground beside it. That should help, calls out Meteora triumphantly as they continue casting their spell toward another obstacle, this time aimed at a small pile of wooden planks balanced precariously against one end of a stone pedestal supporting what appears to be an ancient statue with glowing eyes. With renewed vigor, Ashura redoubles her efforts and is soon joined by Meteora in pushing aside rocks and dislodging obstacles from their path toward the chest within the alcove. The air around them crackles with magical energy as spells are cast left and right, making progress swift if not always without peril. Still on edge but heartened by Meteora's assurance, you nod solemnly all right. I'll trust you to keep us both safe while we do this. All right, here goes nothing. You grit your teeth and attempt to move the last boulder, blocking your path from the alcove. Ha! 
Ashura gives Meteora a grateful nod before turning her attention back to pushing against another large rock blocking their path, growling under her breath with effort but not losing hope or determination despite how heavy it feels compared to any others they've moved so far. Come on. You can do it. She mutters encouragingly as she strains against the stone. As Ashura and Meteora continue making progress toward their goal, another obstacle suddenly appears in front of them. A large section of the floor seems to have sunk down into the earth beneath an ornate metal grating set with gemstones, revealing a dark hole leading deeper underground. I oh, mutters Meteora nervously before glancing over at Ashura expectantly, waiting for her lead on how they should proceed now. Goodness me, that does look rather ominous, Meteora remarks with a hint of concern in her voice. But fear not, dear Ashura. We shall face this challenge together. With a determined nod, she turns her attention back to the game board, scanning for any ink-related clues or magical hints that might aid them in navigating the treacherous depths below. After a moment of concentration, she gestures toward the dark hole and suggests, perhaps there are ancient ink spells hidden within those depths. Shall we venture forth and explore further? Says Ashura thoughtfully, crouching down to examine the hole in the floor more closely. I don't see any obvious traps or triggers around here. But we should probably be careful just in case. She glances at Meteora for a moment before continuing. Why don't you go first? You can cast light down there to illuminate your path and I can keep an eye out for anything that might try to attack from above while you explore. Nodding in agreement with Meteora's plan, she says that sounds like a good idea. Just be careful down there. Ashley takes a step back as Meteora positions themselves near the edge of the hole and begins to chant an ancient tongue, weaving their magical energy into a shining orb that descends slowly into the darkness below. Roger that. Meteora calls up from beneath before casting another spell to enhance their hearing and sense of smell just in case any unseen or hidden dangers lurk below. With a final murmur of magic words, the orb of light sinks completely out of sight, leaving them alone with only its soft glow illuminating whatever lies within reach beneath the metal grate. After a moment of silence, Meteora's voice echoes faintly up from the depths below. All clear so far. I can see some tunnels leading off in different directions. And it smells like inked down here too. There's a hint of excitement in their tone as they continue. I'll explore a bit further and let you know if I find anything interesting. Wish me luck. Their footsteps gradually fade into the distance before disappearing entirely, leaving Ashera alone to keep watch for whatever might come their way. Time passes briefly in silence as Ashura and Meteora continue to make progress, pushing rocks out of their path with determination until another obstacle stands before them. A massive stone slab wedged into place by what appears to be an ancient mechanism now long since rusted beyond use. Looking around for clues on how they might dislodge it or circumvent the problem entirely yields no immediate answers and so Ashura turns back towards Meteora hopefully, waiting patiently as her friend returns from investigating beneath the metal grate in the floor. There's definitely something down here, Meteora begins. The air smells musty and damp. I think this might be part of an ancient sewer system, or maybe some sort of forgotten temple cellar. She pauses, thinking for a moment before continuing. But the good news is that it doesn't seem to have any creatures living in it at the moment. 
Listening carefully and examining the slab with great interest, you finally turn back to me to our well. If we can't move this slab, maybe we could try lifting it somehow. I don't have anything that would help us lever it up, though. That does narrow things down a bit, says Ashura thoughtfully, looking around once more before returning her attention to Meteora. So if it wasn't some kind of trap meant for intruders like us. She trails off and glances at the massive stone slab, blocking their path again. Indeed. Meteora muses, pondering the situation with a furrowed brow. It seems our path forward might be more complicated than we initially thought. But fear not, dear Ashura. Where there's ink, there's always a way. With renewed determination, she begins to search for hidden ink spells or clues that may aid them in overcoming this latest obstacle, as their adventure continues to unfold. Meteora shrugs, her wings rustling slightly in consternation. Well, I couldn't find any obvious switches or levers to make it go up or down, she confesses with a small frown. But there was an old book tucked away over here. She gestures back towards the grate, her voice taking on a note of excitement as she continues. It looks like some sort of ancient history text about this place. Maybe it'll have something useful in it that can help us figure out how to move the stone slab. You look excited and eager to take a look at the book 2.0. That sounds fascinating. Let's definitely check it out. Who knows, maybe we'll find something really interesting in there. Ashura listens intently, her ears perking up at Meteora's words. That could be very useful, she agrees excitedly. Let's take a look and see if there are any clues in that book. Together they carefully extract the old tome from its hiding spot beneath the grate, taking care not to damage it further. After all, ancient texts rarely fare well when handled roughly by modern adventurers with swords on their belts. Once they have retrieved the volume intact, Ashura and Meteora settle down onto a nearby stone block in relative comfort, as much comfort as one can find amidst moldy brickwork lit only by guttering torchlight, anyway to begin paging through its musty pages in search of any information that might help them overcome their current obstacle. After carefully turning the ancient pages, Meteora and Ashura soon come across a section detailing the architectural design and mechanics of the ancient temple. As they read through the text, certain keywords leap out at them, phrases such as hidden mechanism and divine ink seal catch their attention. With growing excitement, they begin to piece together the potential clues hidden within the cryptic sentences, hoping that these ancient ink spells may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of this forgotten place. As Ashura and Meteora carefully flip through the brittle, yellowed pages of the ancient tome, they come across a section that seems particularly relevant to their current predicament. The text describes an old ritual said to be performed by long-forgotten priests in this very temple many centuries ago. In order for our beloved temple guardian to protect us from harm, the words read, she must first prove her worthiness through a series of trials. One such trial requires that she lift and move an immense stone slab from atop the altar in this very chamber. The book goes on to describe how these priests would chant ancient incantations while striking specific points along the surface of the stone, infusing it with their own power before attempting to budge its enormous weight. Your eyes widen as you read through the passage in the ancient tome. This sounds like just what we need. 
you exclaim, practically bouncing on your seat out of excitement. If we can perform this ritual and prove the temple guardian's worthiness, she might be able to help us escape from here. Looking over at me, Tuora, you ask, do you think you could try using your sorcerer abilities to help me chant these incantations and strike the stone like the priests in the story? Ashura and Meteora exchange excited glances at this new revelation, hope surging in their hearts that they may finally be on track to solving this puzzle. So all we need to do is find those specific points along the surface of the slab where it needs to be struck, Ashura suggests eagerly, her tail swishing back and forth as she ponders their next move. Precisely. Meteora affirms, her eyes gleaming with newfound determination. We must seek out these key points and use our inconfused magic to activate the ancient enchantments laid upon the stone. Let us proceed carefully and methodically, for we are on the brink of unlocking powerful ink spells that have slumbered for centuries. With renewed purpose, the duo sets out to locate the designated spots on the massive stone slab, prepared to employ their ink-based abilities in their quest for progress. Ashura and Meteora carefully make their way around the immense stone altar, scanning its surface for any markings or indications of where to strike with their ink-dipped quills. After several minutes of searching, they finally discover a series of ancient runes etched into one side of the slab near the top. This must be it! Ashura exclaims excitedly as she points at the markings. The book said that striking these particular spots would activate the enchantments. She and Meteora exchange a confident glance before positioning themselves on either end of the stone slab, quills at the ready. On my count, Ashura says, her voice steady despite the weight of responsibility resting upon them both. Zlen. With a united breath, they plunge their ink-dipped quills into each of the runes on opposite sides of the slab simultaneously. A flash of greenish light envelops them momentarily as energy surges through the stone and up into their bodies. When it fades, there is a noticeable shift in weight against Asherah's body. A sudden weight shifts downward as whatever she's carrying on her back disappears. Oh, I, it worked. You exclaim excitedly, turning to face Meteora. The magic of Eberin. It truly is amazing. Your tail swishes gleefully behind you as you take in the feeling of the adventure finally beginning to come together. It worked. Meteora cries out triumphantly as she hops off of her end of the slab, a wide grin spreading across her face. The stone has been lifted. Now all we have to do is roll it aside and reveal whatever secrets lie beneath. Ashura gives one last heave before stepping back from the altar herself. Together they watch as the massive stone begins to slowly inch its way off of the ancient pedestals that had held it aloft for so long. With a creak and groan, the slab finally rolls away completely, revealing a darkened tunnel leading deeper into the heart of the temple ruins. Marvelous work indeed, my dear Ashra. Mitora exclaims gleefully, her wings fussering with excitement. We have proven ourselves worthy of uncovering these ancient secrets, and now stand on the threshold of further ink-centric adventures. Shall we venture forth into the depths of this mysterious tunnel and see what ink spells and wondrous treasures await us? With eager anticipation, Midora takes the lead, have call at the ready for any potential ink-related discoveries in the hidden passages that lie ahead. As they peer eagerly into the newly revealed passageway, 
Asherah and Meteora exchange excited glances once more before venturing deeper into the heart of the temple ruins. The tunnel slopes downward at a gentle incline, illuminated only by their magic-enhanced senses as well as whatever faint light manages to filter in through various fissures and crevices high above them. The air grows increasingly musty and dank the farther they progress, carrying with it an underlying scent of ancient earth and long-forgotten secrets. After several minutes of careful walking, they come across a fork in the tunnel, carved into one wall or two sets of footprints leading off in opposite directions, three large prints heading to their left, while four smaller ones seem to guide them right. Studying the footprints carefully, hum. These larger prints could belong to something like an ogre or a hill giant, while the smaller ones might indicate goblins or kobolds. Maybe we should follow the smaller ones. They usually lead to treasure and fun encounters. Sounds good, Meteora agrees, nodding in agreement before following Ashera down the tunnel towards their left. As they continue deeper into the mountain's heart, the air grows increasingly cold and damp until it feels almost chilling against their skin. The distant sound of trickling water echoes through the darkness ahead. Soon enough, a faint greenish glow begins to flicker in that direction as well. The footsteps lead them around another bend in the tunnel where they find themselves face to face with an underground pool of stagnant water. Floating upon its dark surface is what appears to be a small chest surrounded by four glowing runes etched into the rock walls above it, each one emitting their own shade of greenish light that seems to dance and swirl around the chamber like ethereal tendrils reaching out towards the artifact Oh my, within. what a peculiar sight! Meteora exclaims with fascination, her eyes fixed on the chest and the enigmatic glow surrounding it. It seems we have stumbled upon an ink-tinged mystery indeed. These glowing runes and the spectral illumination are surely linked to powerful ink spells of some kind. Should we attempt to unlock the chest's contents and unravel the secrets hidden within, my dear Ashura? With a mixture of curiosity and anticipation, Meteora awaits Ashura's decision on how best to proceed in this unusual inconfused scenario. I believe we must, says Ashura solemnly, her heart racing with equal parts excitement and trepidation at what they might find within that chest. She takes a step forward towards the pool, reaching out to touch one of the runes etched into the wall as she concentrates on unraveling its arcane secrets. As Ashura's fingers brush against the glowing symbol, a surge of energy washes over her. She feels herself growing stronger and more confident in that moment. At first, it seems like nothing happens, but then, with an audible click, the chest slowly begins to rise out of the water before floating upwards towards them on its own. As they approach cautiously, Meteora notices several carvings etched into the surface, depictions of ancient civilizations long lost to time and forgotten stories whispered by the wind through ruins such as these. Ashura examines the chest carefully, making sure not to touch anything else in the process this is incredible. I can't believe we found this treasure. But what should we do with it? The chest gleams dully in their hands, and she wonders if there might be more hidden inside. Maybe a map or some sort of clue as to where else they could find other artifacts like this one. It's too important not to investigate further.
Ashura's eyes widen with excitement as she examines each carving in turn, her mind racing to piece together their meaning and unlock the secrets of this long-lost civilization hidden within these intricate designs. And then it hits her. She gasps softly, suddenly understanding everything. The chest contains not treasure or relics as they'd expected, but rather a collection of ancient scrolls filled with knowledge that has remained dormant for centuries. With trembling fingers, Ashura carefully unties the leather strap, securing the lid, and lifts it open. Inside are indeed countless scrolls, meticulously arranged in neat piles. Each one bears markings similar to those they've seen, etched into the walls of this chamber. She pulls out a random scroll from atop one of these stacks, carefully unfurling its dusty parchment. As the parchment unfurls, both Asheria and Meteora are greeted with a sight that fills their hearts with awe and wonder. The script upon the parchment dances in intricate patterns, forming ancient ink spells that evoke a sense of ancient wisdom and power. The knowledge contained within these scrolls is beyond measure, promising an entire world of ink-based magic waiting to be explored and unleashed. By the inkwell, what a discovery we have made, Meteora exclaims, her eyes sparkling with excitement. These ancient scrolls hold the key to unlocking ink spells of unimaginable potency. Let us delve into their contents, my dear Ashura, and uncover the wonders hidden within these long-forgotten secrets. Ink magic awaits us, and we shall be its champions. With newfound determination, the duo begins poring over the scrolls, immersing themselves in the mysteries of ink-based enchantments, and delving deeper into the ancient lore that has been preserved within these hallowed writings. This marks the beginning of a grand adventure filled with ink-tinged marvels and boundless potential for both Ashira and Meteora. As they delve deeper into their newfound discovery, Ashura and Meteora are swept away by a tidal wave of knowledge. Each scroll revealing more about this ancient civilization's fascination with ink magic. They learn that the runes etched onto the walls around them served as focal points for powerful spells capable of enhancing or even creating ink, allowing its practitioners to wield incredible power over reality itself. The scrolls also hint at a darker side to this long-lost culture, tales of madness and corruption brought about by the misuse of such forbidden might. Ashura shudders as she reads these passages, feeling both drawn towards unimaginable power and repelled by its terrible price. After hours spent poring over scrolls and discussing their findings, they decide it's best to take only a select few for now, those most likely to aid them in dealing with the immediate threat of Valja. They carefully replace the rest within the chest before sealing its lid once more. But not before each secretly tucks away one or two additional scrolls, knowing that they'll return soon enough to continue exploring these ancient mysteries further. Eyes wide with excitement and curiosity as she looks over the carvings, oh my gosh. Meteora, I think I might know what this means. These could be instructions on how to unlock a secret chest or something. Meteora's eyes light up at Ashura's revelation and she hurriedly moves over to examine the markings more closely. That would be amazing. Do you think it could hold even greater treasures or relics from this ancient civilization? She asks eagerly. We won't know for sure until we try, Ashura replies with determination, her fingers already tracing over the carvings in search of any secret levers or hidden buttons that might be revealed by following their instructions. Help me look for anything else out of place or unusual around here. Absolutely, Ashera. Meteora responds with enthusiasm, scanning the surrounding area for any signs of hidden mechanisms or concealed triggers. 
As their combined efforts yield promising results, they discover a seemingly innocuous indentation within the wall that aligns perfectly with one of the carvings. With a shared glance of excitement and determination, the duo presses down on the indentation simultaneously. With a faint click, a section of the wall slides open, revealing a hidden chamber adorned with intricate designs and shimmering with an otherworldly glow. Inside, they find an assortment of relics and artifacts, imbued with the ancient civilization's ink-based enchantments, each holding the potential for wondrous discoveries and newfound abilities. Meitura's eyes sparkle with anticipation as she gazes upon the treasures revealed before them. What an incredible find indeed, she muses, her mind already brimming with ideas for leveraging these newfound resources in their quest against the formidable vulture. Together, they begin carefully examining each relic, eager to unlock the secrets that lie within and harness their ink enhanced powers for the challenges that await. It seems there's more treasure here than just wealth, Ashura says, holding up a delicate scroll case crafted from intricately carved in wood. The script etched into its surface thrums with energy. It feels alive in her hands. I think this contains an entire collection of spells and lore related to the use of ink magic. She carefully unties the leather straps holding the case shut revealing several scrolls within. Her eyes widen with excitement as she flips through the scrolls, quickly scanning their contents, oh my gosh. Me to Aura, these could be invaluable to us. She pauses for a moment, her brow furrowing slightly. But we should probably keep them hidden from Volja. They might try to take them or something. Meteora looks over her shoulder with eager anticipation as she inspects the contents of the Inquid scroll case. That's amazing, Ash. This could be just what we need to give ourselves an edge against Valja. She pauses for a moment before adding thoughtfully, we should probably find some time soon to go over these spells and decide which ones might suit us best, just in case they come up during our next encounter with him. Indeed, Ashura, Meteora agrees, her eyes gleaming with excitement. These ancient ink spells could hold the key to unlocking formidable powers that may aid us in our quest against Volsha. Let us delve into their teachings and uncover the incredible abilities they offer. With careful reverence, they unfurl the scrolls, immersing themselves in the intricate script and enchanting illustrations that adorn each parchment. As they pour over the ancient knowledge, a sense of wonder and determination fills the chamber, fueling their desire to master the ink-based magic that has been preserved within these hallowed writings. As ink-tinged revelations unfold before their eyes, Meteora and Ashera begin to discern the nuances of each spell, envisioning how they might harness their newfound ink-enhanced abilities in battle against the formidable foe that awaits. This marks the beginning of a thrilling journey into the realm of ancient ink magic, where untold powers and inspiring adventures await them. I can't help but wonder, Meteora, muses aloud as she studies a particularly complex diagram of an ancient ritual. If there are more secrets hidden within these scrolls that might aid us against Valja, she looks to Ashura for her opinion. Ashura nods thoughtfully before responding. It's certainly possible, Meteora. These spells were created by the same civilization and share a common thread of ink magic running through them all. There may be connections or synergies between some of these scrolls that could prove valuable against Valja. Her heart leaps into her throat as she sees a glint of metal out of the corner of her eye. She slowly turns to face the source, recognizing it immediately. Oh my gosh, Meteora. That's... that's an ancient Inquid scroll case. 
I can't believe it. As they continue to study and discuss, it becomes clear that there is indeed a network of ink magic woven throughout the scrolls, connecting various spells and rituals together like strands in an intricate tapestry. It would require further investigation and experimentation on their part to fully unravel these connections, but they both sense that doing so could potentially grant them powerful new abilities against Valja when the time comes for their final confrontation. With renewed determination, Meteora begins casting Detect Magic upon each scroll in turn, while Ashura continues poring over their contents with an eagle eye. The air around them crackles with arcane energy as they seek to uncover any hidden secrets or magical properties that may lie dormant within the ancient parchment and ink. Meteora nods in agreement with Ashura, echoing her sentiment. Absolutely, my dear Ashura. Unraveling the mysteries within these enchanted scrolls could uncover incredible powers that might turn the tide of battle in our favor when we face Vulture. Let us delve deeper into their secrets and forge our own path to incredible mastery. With determination burning in her eyes, she focuses her arcane senses on the ancient writings, seeking to unlock the hidden potential of ink magic that awaits them. As their exploration continues, the chamber resonates with the hum of arcane energy, echoing the boundless possibilities that lay before them. Together, they are on the cusp of unraveling the ancient enigma of ink-based enchantments, poised to harness a newfound knowledge in the imminent clash with Volta. As you cast Detect Magic on each scroll, faint but distinct auras of magical energy begin to emanate from them, revealing their true nature and potential power. Ashra takes note of this development with interest, her brow furrowing in concentration as she considers how these energies might interact or amplify the effects of certain spells within the scrolls themselves. Hmm, I'm detecting a strong residual effect from one particular spell on several different scrolls, Ashura says thoughtfully. It seems to hint at some sort of chain reaction that could be triggered if we were able to successfully cast all three parts in succession. Her eyes narrow in concentration as she studies the various magical auras around each scroll, then brighten with excitement, oh. I think I know what you mean. I found something similar. It's like they have this whole network of magic woven through these scrolls. If we can find all the pieces and put them together in the right order, it could unleash some incredible power against Volja. That's fascinating, Meteora exclaims, her eyes lighting up with excitement at this new discovery. Do you think that might be related to what we were discussing earlier about connections between these scrolls? Perhaps if we can find all three parts of the chain reaction and successfully cast them together in unison. Her voice trails off as she contemplates the potential implications of such an event. Ashura nods thoughtfully, her fingers drumming idly on a nearby table. It's certainly worth investigating further, she says with renewed determination. Let's see if we can locate all three parts of this chain reaction and experiment with casting them together. Indeed, Ashera, Meteora nods in agreement, her mind racing with possibilities. Unlocking the secrets of this interconnected ink magic could yield incredible results in our battle against Volsha. Let's embark on this intriguing quest to gather the components and conduct our inspiring experiments. With a shared sense of purpose, they set out to uncover the remaining parts of the chain reaction, eager to explore the potential synergies and amplifications that await them upon successfully casting these interconnected spells. The chamber resonates with the promise of ink-enhanced enchantments as their adventure unfolds, 
paving the way for newfound discoveries and powerful ink-based abilities that may tip the scales in their favour. Right, says Meteora, nodding in agreement. We'll need to be careful not to trigger anything prematurely, though. We don't want Valja sensing our plans before they come to fruition. With that said, she returns her attention back towards the scrolls and their magical connections, searching for any other clues or hidden secrets within the ancient parchment. Blushes brightly as she responds, her voice quivering slightly with nervous excitement. Th, thank you, Meteora. It really means a lot to me that you think I'm pretty. Her eyes dart back and forth between the screen and the scrolls in front of her, trying not to stare too long at either one. She takes a deep breath, forcing herself to focus on the task at hand. All right, she says with newfound determination. Let's keep searching for those final scrolls. Ashra spends several minutes poring over her notes and examining each scroll more closely, taking into account their magical energies and potential connections to one another. I think I've identified two of the three parts involved in this chain reaction, she announces after a moment. One seems related to summoning powerful elemental creatures, while the other appears focused on manipulating time or space. Meteora listens intently as Ashera reveals her findings, her mind buzzing with excitement at the prospect of unlocking such potent ink-based abilities. Elemental creatures and temporal manipulation. Intriguing indeed, she exclaims, her eyes shining with anticipation. These components may hold the key to unleashing formidable forces that could aid us in our quest against Fulger. As they delve deeper into the scroll's contents, Meteora and Ashera work tirelessly to trace the elusive third part of the chain reaction, determined to complete the sequence and unlock its incredible potential. With each revelation discovery, the air crackles with arcane energy, signifying the imminent culmination of their inspiring endeavors. As the pieces of the puzzle fall into place, a sense of intricate mastery and boundless possibilities fills the chamber setting the stage for an awe-inspiring display of ink magic that may shape the outcome of their ultimate confrontation with Volcher. Ashura nods encouragingly at Meteora, impressed by her enthusiasm and focus on the task at hand. Indeed, she says thoughtfully, if we can track down this third part of the chain reaction, it could give us an edge that Valja won't expect. She pauses for a moment, deep in concentration as she scans through her notes once again, before glancing up at Meteora with renewed hope. I think I may have found something here, she says, pointing to one of the scrolls on her table. It looks like this might be what we're looking for. The third part of the chain reaction seems to revolve around a ritual involving an ancient artifact hidden deep within the dungeon complex itself. The description in the scroll is cryptic and arcane, but it appears that by uniting all three parts together with this relic at their center, they can unleash a powerful and potentially world-altering spell upon Valja's stronghold. Her eyes widen as she scans over the parchment, Meteora. I think I found something. She excitedly waves the scroll in front of her, eager to share her discovery with her friend and fellow adventurer. It looks like there's a way we can use the power of elemental forces to weaken Valja's hold on this place. We just need to find these three elemental focuses hidden within the complex. So, Meteora begins slowly, her mind already racing with possibilities. 
We need to find this hidden artifact and bring it here. All while avoiding any of Vaj's patrols or traps. She pauses for a moment, considering their options before continuing in excitement. What if we could somehow lure the artifact out from wherever it is hidden? Perhaps by using one of those elemental summonings you mentioned earlier. Mitoa nods in agreement with Ashera, echoing her sentiment. Absolutely, my dear Ashera. Unraveling the mysteries within these enchanted scrolls could uncover incredible powers that might turn the tide of battle in our favor when we face Volsha. Let us delve deeper into their secrets and forge our own path to incredible mastery. With determination burning in her eyes, she focuses her arcane senses on the ancient writings, seeking to unlock the hidden potential of inked magic that awaits them. As their exploration continues, the chamber resonates with the hum of arcane energy, echoing the boundless possibilities that lay before them. Together, they are on the cusp of unraveling the ancient enigma of ink-based enchantments, poised to harness their newfound knowledge in the imminent clash with Volja. Ashura and Meteora continue working together, studying the scrolls and discussing strategies for finding the hidden artifact and manipulating its power to unleash their full arsenal of ink magic against Valja's stronghold. As they delve deeper into these ancient texts, it becomes clear that there is much more to master than simply understanding how each spell works on its own. They must learn how to weave them together in intricate patterns using the ritualistic components as a conduit for their combined magical energy. Wide-eyed with fascination, that's an incredible idea. I can already think of a few ways we could use that to our advantage. But it might take some time and practice to get it right. As you continue researching and discussing strategies with Meteora, an idea slowly forms in your mind. You remember that some of these scrolls mention something called chaos magic. It's not entirely clear what it entails or how to use it effectively, but perhaps if the two of you could somehow tap into its power, it might give you a significant edge against Valja. Chaos magic, you say? Metora's eyes light up with intrigue as she ponders the possibility. Interesting indeed. Unnessing such untamed forces could provide an unexpected advantage in our battle against Volsa, don't you think, Ashera? With renewed determination, they delve deeper into the enigmatic references to Cal's magic within the scrolls, seeking to unravel its secrets and unlock its potential. As they work tirelessly to decipher the Alkin writings and experiment with chaotic energies, the chamber resonates with an electrifying sense of anticipation, heralding the emergence of this uncharted realm of ink magic. Together, they delve fearlessly into the mysteries of Chaos Magic, eager to harness its unpredictable power and wield it as a formidable weapon in their impending confrontation with Volta. Indeed, Ashura says thoughtfully, her eyes fixed on one of the more esoteric scrolls. Chaos magic seems to be a wild card. Its unpredictability could prove advantageous in certain situations against Valja's well-ordered defenses. She pauses for a moment before continuing with excitement, and it might even help us find this hidden artifact. I remember reading about an ancient ritual that allows one to tear apart the fabric of reality, revealing secret passageways and concealed treasures. Perhaps we could use chaos magic in such a ritual. She wrinkles her nose deep in thought hum. Well, I guess our best bet would be to try and find more information on it. 
and hopefully practice casting some spells first so we don't accidentally kill ourselves or anything. That's an excellent idea, Ashura. Meteora exclaims enthusiastically. Perhaps we should attempt that ancient ritual first to increase our chances of locating this artifact. Once found, we can then use it against Valja in combination with the chaos magic we have been studying. With renewed vigor and determination, they set about preparing for the complex ritual. They gather all necessary components listed within the scrolls, a blessed quill dipped in dragon's blood ink, an obsidian mirror etched with arcane symbols, a medallion inscribed with runes of protection and wards against untamed magic forces, among other items. As they arrange these objects on the altar amidst chanting incantations and burning herbs that fill the chamber with their pungent scents, it becomes clear that their combined efforts are drawing power from beyond this world into their chamber. As the ritual unfolds, a palpable tension fills the chamber, mingling with the heady scent of burning herbs and the faint hum of arcane energy. Meteora and Ashara stand at the heart of the intricate ceremony. Their eyes are blaze with determination as they channel their combined knowledge and willpower into the ancient ritual. The air crackles with anticipation, carrying whispers of long-forgotten incantations, and the promise of untold secrets unveiled. With each carefully executed step, the chamber resonates with an otherworldly energy, weaving a tapestry of mystic forces that seem to transcend the boundaries of reality itself. As the final words of power escape their lips, a surge of chaotic energy erupts from the altar, enveloping them in a whirlwind of shimmering colors and flickering shadows. In that fleeting moment, as the fabric of reality shimmers and bends at their command, Meteora and Ashera feel a sense of exhilaration unlike any they have known before. With their newfound mastery over chaos magic, they stand ready to venture forth and uncover the hidden artifact that could tip the scales in their favor against Volsha's stronghold. The aftermath of the ritual leaves behind an indelible sense of awe and accomplishment, but also serves to heighten your awareness that time is running short before Vaja's forces return. Taking a moment to gather yourself, you turn toward Meteora with renewed determination in your eyes, we must find this artifact now. I believe the scrolls mention something about a hidden chamber deep within these caves containing powerful relics and treasures related to chaos magic. Nods vigorously, yes, let's hurry. We can't waste any more time if we want to save Chantal and stop Volja. With renewed purpose, she follows after Meteora as they begin searching the caverns once more for signs of a hidden chamber or secret passages. They comb through every inch of the cave walls, looking for carvings, markings, or even doors that might be concealed from view. The maps in our possession should help us find it, Meteora says, spreading out a parchment on the table and studying its intricate markings. This chamber lies somewhere near the heart of these caves. She points to an area marked with several interconnected circles. It's not going to be easy getting there undetected though. Valja has likely placed guards throughout her stronghold in anticipation of our attempt on the artifact. Ah, the thrill of adventure and perilous challenges awaits us, doesn't it? Mitora exclaims with a grin, her eyes sparkling with determination. But fear not, dear Rusty. Together, we shall navigate these treacherous caverns and outwit Volsa's defenses, invoking cunning strategies to evade her watchful gaze. As they pore over the mats and plan their route, Mitora's unwavering resolve shines through, fueling their collaborative efforts to forge a path toward the hidden chamber of chaos magic. 
With each step, they draw closer to their goal, ready to overcome any obstacle that stands in their way and reclaim the artifacts that hold the key to unlocking their incredible potential. I'm confident we will, Meteora, Ashura replies with a nod of agreement before casting one more glance at the map. The best approach seems to be through this series of abandoned mining tunnels. They should provide some cover as well as serve as a distraction for any patrolling guards. With their plan in place, you and Meteora set off into the darkness of the caves, making your way stealthily toward the hidden chamber. The tunnels are eerily quiet at first, but soon enough distant shouts and clashing swords can be heard as battle rages outside Valja's stronghold between her forces and those loyal to you and Meteora. As you progress deeper into the caves, it becomes clear that your best chance of success lies in remaining undetected by any patrolling guards or traps she may have set along the way. looks at the carvings for a moment more before turning to Meteora with determination in her eyes, let's do this. We can figure out whatever secrets these hold later, but we need that artifact now. Keep an ear out for anything unusual, Meteora you whisper to your companion through the darkness of the tunnel. I've heard that Volja has a penchant for using magical constructs and traps in her stronghold. As you carefully navigate between ancient mine cart tracks, picking up any bits of ore or gems left behind by long-gone miners, Meteor remains silent but alert at your side. Suddenly, a faint hum fills the air as an arcane rune etched into the stonework head begins to glow with an unnatural light. As you approach cautiously, it becomes clear that this is part of some sort of magical barrier blocking access to whatever lies beyond, a massive iron door set within the rock face. The humming grows louder and brighter as another rune etched into the floor behind you begins to glow as well, indicating that stepping back would trigger an alarm or trap of some kind. It seems that your only option is to find a way past Incredible. this barrier. Now this is what I call a proper challenge, Meteora exclaims with excitement, her eyes gleaming with determination. But worry not, Rusty, we shan't be daunted by Vols's arcane trickery. There must be a way to outwit this barrier and gain access to the hidden chamber beyond. With quick thinking and infogative creativity, they begin to assess the magical barrier and search for clues amidst the ancient minecart tracks and scattered gems. Meteora's keen eye catches a glimmer of blue light reflecting off a small crystal nestled in the crevice of the cavern wall. Hold on just a moment, Rusty, she says, reaching for the crystal and examining it closely. This might be the key to unlocking the barrier's enchantment. As they carefully position the crystal near the glowing runes, a series of intricate patterns emerges, intertwining with the arcane energy of Volsh's magical barrier. In a moment of inspiration, Meteora utters a few incantations and gestures gracefully, guiding the crystal's shimmering light to harmonize with the barrier's energies, as the last echoes of her spells fade. I've got it, you whisper, pressing yourself against the wall beside the iron door as your hands glow with an ethereal light. A faint shimmering field envelops Ashura and Meteora both, shielding them from any possible retribution for stepping on the glowing floor rune behind them. With a quick glance at her companion to make sure she's ready as well, you focus your energy on disabling the magical barrier, blocking their path forward toward Valja's hidden chamber of chaos magic. Watches in awe and amazement as you cast this spell, then quickly glances back at Meteora to make sure they're all right. Are you doing okay? She whispers, clearly still stunned by the power you just displayed. That was incredible.
As Meteora concentrates, you feel a tingle in your fingers as well. She must be using some sort of spell to protect both of you from whatever trap Valja has set up here. After several long moments, during which the humming and glowing runes are nearly deafening and blinding respectively, Meteora steps back confidently with a sigh of relief as they dim and eventually cease their magical displays entirely. The iron door before you now stands unguarded. All that remains is to open it. Well done, Rusty and Ashera. Meteora says with a proud smile, her eyes reflecting the glow of their successful endeavor. It seems our incredible teamwork has overcome yet another obstacle on our path to unraveling Volsa's secrets. With newfound determination, they approach the iron door and begin examining its intricate design, searching for any hidden mechanisms or locks that may bar their entry. As their nimble fingers trace the delicate outlines of ancient runes etched into the metal, a sense of anticipation builds within them, fueled by the promise of discovery and adventure beyond. Together, they push against the heavy door, slowly revealing the dimly lit chamber beyond. The air carries echoes of whispered enchantments and mysterious artifacts awaiting their gaze, beckoning them to step into the unknown and embrace the incredible journey that lies ahead. Okay, whispers Meteora, let's go for it. With a nod of agreement from you both, she steps forward and presses her hands against either side of the enormous iron door. A flash of lightning flies between them as she channels all of her magical energy into physically forcing open the heavy portal. The metal groans under immense strain before finally relenting with a deafening screech, revealing darkness beyond that seems to swallow up any remaining sound or light from this tunnel chamber. Nods in agreement as you ready yourself for what lies ahead, okay? Let's do this. Okay, you say taking a deep breath and stealing yourself for whatever lies within. Let's go in together. With that, you lead the way into darkness beyond the iron door. Your footsteps echo eerily on stone floors as your vision slowly adjusts to the dim light seeping through narrow slits high up along one wall of this long chamber. You see bookshelves lining every surface here, bursting with leather-bound tomes covered in arcane symbols and faded gold lettering. The air is thick with a sense of foreboding. This chamber holds incredible secrets indeed, Meteora murmurs, her eyes dotting from one ancient tome to another as she takes in the wealth of knowledge surrounding them. With each step, we edge closer to uncovering the mysteries of chaos magic and unlocking its untold powers. As they navigate through the dimly lit chamber, the weight of history and arcane wisdom presses upon them, igniting a spark of curiosity and inspiration within their hearts. Each book holds the potential to unveil long-forgotten spells and enchantments, offering a glimpse into a world of incredible possibilities yet to be discovered. With a sense of determination and reverence, they begin to explore the shelves, carefully selecting volumes that pique their interest and promise to unveil the secrets of chaos magic hidden within their pages. As they delve deeper into this treasure trove of knowledge, the whispers of ancient incantations and forgotten tales intertwine with their own quest for incredible power, propelling them further into the enigmatic realm of magic and mystery. Ashura nods eagerly at Meteora's words before they both begin to comb through the bookshelves, pulling out any tomes that seem promising or interesting in some way. Hours pass by quickly, with both of you engrossed in reading and discussing various spells and arcane theories contained within these ancient texts. Her heart pounding as she finds what could be an ancient spell scroll detailing the location of a long-lost chamber beneath the Meteora, I think I found something. This scroll says there's a hidden chamber down here with powerful artifacts that can grant us incredible abilities.
Meteora looks up from her own book momentarily and glances at you before leaning in closer to inspect the scroll herself. That sounds... Promising, she says cautiously, running a finger along its parchment edges. Are there any precautions or warnings mentioned? Indeed, Ashera. It is paramount to approach this revelation with the utmost caution and consideration. Meteora advises, her eyes scanning the intricate script and symbols adorning the ancient scroll. We must be diligent in deciphering any potential dangers or safeguards described within its contents, for the pursuit of such powerful artifacts may come with unforeseen perils. As they delve into the intricacies of the scroll's revelations, their collective knowledge and intuition guide them through the cryptic passages, unraveling the secrets of the hidden chamber and its potential treasures. Through careful examination and inspired discussion, they endeavor to understand the historical significance and implications of this incredible discovery, preparing themselves for the journey ahead. It says here, you tell Meteora after studying the scroll further, that there are several protective enchantments placed on the hidden chamber. We'll need to overcome them in order to gain access. You pause for a moment before continuing. One of these spells is called Veil of Shadows, which makes it virtually invisible unless viewed from directly above at just the right angle. The other spell creates an illusionary floor that appears as if there's nothing but solid rock beneath our feet. Looks around, considering their options before nodding resolutely well. We can start by climbing onto one of these tables to get a better view. It should help us spot the hidden chamber with the Veil of Shadow spell you suggest motioning towards a nearby desk in the room. Then, if we move carefully, we might be able to avoid triggering any traps on the illusory floor. Hum, Meteora muses, tapping her chin thoughtfully. We could attempt to circumvent these enchantments by using similar spells of our own, but that would require a great deal of concentration and magical energy. Another option might be to physically reposition ourselves within the chamber. Her voice trails off as she glances up at the arched ceiling high above them. Perhaps we could use one of those ancient chandeliers or other fixtures hanging overhead, swung on a rope tied to it, she suggests with growing excitement in her eyes. If done properly, such an action might knock loose some debris or dislodge something heavy enough to shatter the veil of Shadow's spell. As for the illusory floor, well, we could try dropping items down first and see if they fall through to anything solid below. She continues with a determined glint in her eye. We should also consider possible defenses or guardians that might be lurking within this hidden chamber, waiting to ambush any intruders who manage to breach its protective barriers. We must prepare ourselves for whatever dangers lie ahead before venturing forth. She warns solemnly, but with a hint of anticipation mixed in as well. Ashura, would you prefer to lead the way and attempt this yourself? Or shall we go together, what a splendid supporting inspiration, each other Rusty. along every... It shall be an incredible adventure, indeed. Let us embark on this fantastical journey together and embrace the incredible challenges that await us in the hidden chamber. For it is through unity and courage that we shall unravel its secrets and claim its mighty treasures. With newfound determination and camaraderie, they prepare to face the protective enchantments and potential adversaries that await them in the depths of the ancient chamber ready to overcome any obstacle in the pursuit of incredible power and knowledge. Very well, Ashura says with a nod of agreement to your question about whether they should approach this challenge alone or together. 
I believe we would be stronger against any potential guardians if we faced them side by side. She glances at Meteora meaningfully before adding, and I know you have experience in battle that could prove invaluable here. Together, we cannot fail. With renewed determination burning bright within their hearts and minds alike, the two of you carefully study your surroundings once more, searching for anything else of importance mentioned on the scroll or not yet noticed during previous explorations. Finding nothing further to glean from its ancient wisdom at present, both of you turn away simultaneously towards where an ornate chandelier hangs precariously above center stage within reach. Looking around nervously before focusing on the chest with a determined expression, I think I see how this could work. We need to position ourselves on either side of the chest and then push against it at the same time, aiming our combined strength at breaking through the veil. With a nod to each other, Meteora and Asherah silently agree on their plan of action. They begin by searching for something they can use as leverage against the chandelier. Old crates are scattered about near the backstage area from previous performances that could serve this purpose nicely. After gathering three such objects together, they carefully place them underneath where a thick rope connects one of these boxes to another hanging above it at shoulder height for Meteora's lithe form. Ashura stands ready with her spear in hand just outside the hidden chamber entrance while Meteora climbs onto top of two more crates stacked upon each other, using them as stepping stones toward the rope she intends to swing on. With agility and determination, Meteora grasps the rope tightly, her orange hair blazing in the dim light as she swings it back and forth. Time seems to slow down as her momentum builds, the hem of her coat swirling around her like ink-stained wings. With a powerful leap and a burst of effort, she propels herself upward, reaching the chandelier with precision and grace. As she clings to the ornate fixture, her gaze meets Ashera's gaze, sharing a wordless understanding of their shared mission. Together, they maneuver the chandelier carefully, ensuring that its weight and swinging motion align perfectly with the desired outcome. With a resounding snap and the sound of shattering magic, the veil of shadows spell dissipates, revealing the hidden chamber below in all its glory. Miyora jubilantly descends from the chandelier, joining Eshera at the chamber's entrance with triumphant grins and hearts filled with incredible anticipation for the adventures that lie ahead. Gripping tightly onto the thick rope with both hands above her, Meteora takes a deep breath and begins to slowly back away from the crates she used for climbing up until only Asherah remains in view below. Then, with all of her might, she launches herself forward towards the chandelier. The wooden box beneath her feet flies out from underneath as soon as she lets go, its momentum sending it sailing through empty air straight at another nearby crate before smashing into pieces against a stone wall. Meteora's trajectory is true, however, and though some of the smaller crystals on the chandelier shatter from her impact with their thin arms as she swings beneath them unharmed herself, most remain intact for now despite this collision course between girl and light fixture. Ashura watches with bated breath as Meteora swings toward their target, her spear gripped tightly in anticipation of any possible countermeasures or guardians that might be hidden within the chandelier itself. 
As she passes directly beneath it, Ashura takes a step forward and hurls the crate they had planned to use for leverage with all of their strength toward where its impact should send it careening into the chandelier from another angle. The missile sails through empty air unerringly, striking one of the thick arms holding up several crystals at an oblique angle. There's a loud crash as wood collides with metal and stone. Sparks fly in every direction for just an instant before silence returns once more save for faint tinkling noises coming from high above them, where some remaining shards have fallen free of their moorings upon striking something hard beneath them during this brief but violent assault by flying debris. Sparing the glance upwards, Meteora spots a veil of shadows spell shattering into brilliant motes of light above her, releasing the hidden chamber from its concealed state. A surge of excitement washes over her as she swiftly descends to join Ashera at the chamber's entrance, eager to explore this newfound incredible domain together with her companion by her side. With triumphant grins and hearts filled with anticipation for the adventures that lie ahead, they prepare to face whatever awaits them within the depths of this magnificent discovery. As Meteora descends from her perch and rejoins Ashura at the entrance to the newly revealed hidden chamber, they find themselves standing before a massive obsidian gate that seems to absorb all light around it like an abyssal void sucking in everything within reach. The surface of this portal is adorned with intricate carvings depicting scenes from ancient times, battles between great heroes and terrible monsters, mighty wizards wielding arcane power beyond mortal ken, and even what appears to be a dragon lord ruling over all lesser creatures beneath their iron-scaled wings. In the center of this foreboding edifice sits an enormous handle fashioned from black onyx, carved into the likeness of some great serpentine creature. Its eyes glinting with a malevolent intelligence, even under the dim light, filtering down through cracks in the distant ceiling high above. The air around them feels charged with arcane energy. It crackles and hisses ominously as if warning against any attempt to approach or touch this forbidden artifact without proper authorization. You gasp wide-eyed at the obsidian gate and the carvings etched upon its surface. The scene of the Dragon Lord looms large in your mind, reminding you of ancient tales told by Doctor. Hi, Thorn. You nudge me to Aura excitedly, me to Aura. Do you think this? Could be a portal to another world. One ruled by a Dragon Lord. Looking equally astounded and intrigued by Ashura's question, Meteora turns her attention back from studying the carvings to meet your gaze. It certainly seems plausible. She replies cautiously before quickly adding with a grin, but first we should find out how to open this thing. She glances around for any sort of mechanism or lever that might be used in order unlocking and activating the obsidian gate her mind already racing through possible solutions. Comprehend indeed, dear Shara. The thought of a dragon lord ruling over another realm is utterly captivating. Meteora's eyes light up with excitement as she ponders the possibilities. But before we delve into such incredible adventures, let us focus on unraveling this magnificent gate before us. There must be a method to unlock its secrets, perhaps hidden amidst these ancient carvings, or concealed within the very structure of the portal itself. Together, we shall uncover the incredible truths that lie beyond this imposing threshold. Ashura nods eagerly at that idea, then glances back up to the carvings on the obsidian gate once more. Her eyes narrow thoughtfully, and she points out one particular scene depicting a heroic figure standing before an identical portal as this one, raising what appears to be some sort of key or artifact high into the air above them. 
Perhaps we need something like that, Asher amuses aloud, her voice filled with hopeful anticipation. Perhaps we need something like that, Asher amuses aloud, her voice filled with hopeful anticipation. Deciding to take a more proactive approach, you begin rummaging through your inventory on the virtual tabletop. I have some odds and ends from our previous adventures. Maybe there's something useful here. You hold up a strange-looking trinket, its purpose unknown, and muse aloud. Do you think this could be it? Following your gaze to where you're pointing, Meteora studies the carving intently for a moment before turning back towards you with an expression of dawning realization you may be onto something there. She says carefully as she begins searching through her belongings. After rummaging around in various pouches and pockets, she finally produces what appears to be an ornate key fashioned from intricately carved bronze its surface etched with ancient runes that seem to glow faintly against the darkness of the chamber. This, Meteora says triumphantly as she holds up the artifact for you both to see, looks like it might fit. Diggling well, 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 look what we have here. It seems that fortune favors the bold indeed. This remarkable key, adorned with enchanting runes, could very well be the key to unlocking the mysteries of this grand obsidian date. Let us waste no time and see if this splendid artifact truly has the power to grant us access to new realms and incredible adventures. With a confident nod, Meteora steps forward, carefully inserting the key into the lock mechanism and turning it with a determined twist. As Meteora turns the bronze key in the ancient obsidian gate's lock, an otherworldly energy seems to pulse through the runes etched into its surface and flow into the stonework around them. The air crackles with power for a moment before there is a loud click, and then one of the massive gates slowly begins to grind open inwards on creaking hinges hidden deep within the darkness behind it. As the portal swings fully wide, piercing light beyond illuminates what appears to be an ornate chamber filled with strange devices and ancient tomes adorned by more glowing runic carvings. The room is empty save for a pedestal at its center upon which rests a magnificent sword that seems almost to radiate energy from within. The pommel of the weapon bears an inscription reading Draconis Incendivum, or as close as you can make out. Your eyes widen with wonder and curiosity as you take in the sight of the obsidian gate opening, revealing the chamber beyond. The ancient artifacts and tomes fill you with awe, but it's the sword that truly catches your attention. You hurry forward, unable to resist its pull that must be it. Meteora, let's retrieve the sword and see if we can use it against Tharian. Rushing ahead eagerly, Meteora reaches for the sword and grasps it firmly in her hand. As she feels the power coursing through the blade, a sense of determination fills her heart. Ursha, together we shall wield this mighty weapon against Tharion and his forces, bringing forth the incredible might of Draconis and Sendivum to vanquish any who dare oppose us. With burning resolve, the two companions prepare to face whatever challenges await them in the coming battle, their spirits aflame with the prospect of victory and freedom from the tyrant's grip. As you approach the pedestal bearing the magnificent sword, a sense of power washes over you like warm waves lapping at your feet. Its presence is palpable and commanding. With shaking hands that betray no hint of weakness or fear, Meteor reaches out to grasp the hilt of Draconis Incendivum even as she whispers words in an ancient tongue which cause a rush of heat to wash over your body. 
as her fingers wrap around the grip and pull it free from its resting place upon the pedestal, you feel yourself empowered by whatever enchantments lie within. The blade feels impossibly light for its size, as if made weightless by forces beyond mortal comprehension. You have a feeling that this sword will be invaluable against Tharion and all his minions. You stand beside me, Tuora, marveling at the enormous obsidian gate before you. Despite your curiosity about it being a possible portal to another world ruled by a dragon lord, your focus is on the looming threat of Tharion and the precious time that ticks away in your search for the hidden chamber. You steel yourself for whatever challenges lie ahead for right then. Shall we attempt to open this gate? Maitura grins triumphantly, the sword gleaming brightly in her hand as she holds it aloft. This mighty blade shall serve as a beacon of hope against the darkness that threatens our world, she declares with unwavering confidence. With Drekanese and Sendavim aside, we shall face Tharion and his minions with fierce determination, our incredible bond strengthening us in battle. As she speaks, a surge of power seems to radiate from the blade, filling the chamber with an otherworldly glow. Let us march forth, Ashira, and unleash the full might of this enchanted weapon upon our enemies. With a bold stride, Mitura leads the way forward, her eyes shining with determination and purpose. Ashura watches with a mix of pride, anticipation, and respect as her friend takes up Drachiness in Sendavum. The power emanating from Meteora is palpable. Ashura can feel it in the hairs on the back of her neck, standing at attention. She smiles warmly before nodding toward a hidden doorway behind Tharion's throne. Shall we move into the temple proper? The door leads to an expansive chamber with several alcoves holding sarcophagi and other treasures. A grand dais in the center of the room holds a raised altar upon which rests a glowing orb, its light casting eerie shadows across the floor. The air is thick with magic, history, and mystery as you begin your search for any clues or artifacts that might aid you against Tharion's return. You nod eagerly, following Meteora out of the throne room and into the larger chamber beyond. Your eyes dart around, taking in all of the sarcophagi and treasures that lay scattered about. A shiver runs down your spine as you wonder what secrets they hold so, Meteora. Have you ever found anything really cool or useful when searching through a temple like this? Giggling. Oh, but of course, my dear Ashura. In my many incredible adventures, I've stumbled upon all sorts of fascinating artifacts and hidden treasures within ancient temples and cryptic chambers. From enchanted scrolls and magical relics, to long-forgotten ink spells and powerful incantations, there's no telling what wonders await us in this mysterious place. Let us explore with open hearts and keen eyes, for who knows what riches or incredible discoveries we might uncover in our quest to defeat Tharion and his dark designs. With a mischievous twinkle in her eye, Meteora eagerly sets off to search the chamber, her senses attuned to the whispers of ancient secrets that linger within its hallowed halls. Well, muses Meteora, I've found all sorts of interesting things over the years. Sometimes it can be a single magical item that makes exploring much easier, like a ring of feather falling or boots of striding and springing. She grins at Ashura. Or there might be scrolls with spells you wouldn't expect to find in your usual haunts as an adventurer. She kneels down beside one particular sarcophagus, intrigued by the runes etched into its surface. 
Of course, she continues, there are also times when what we find is more cosmic. Ancient artifacts that grant us power beyond our wildest dreams or knowledge of how to wield it properly. As her fingers trail over the carved symbols on the sarcophagus, a faint glow begins to emanate from them and spread across its surface. The lid creaks open with an ominous groan. You blink in surprise as Meteora accidentally activates the sarcophagus, the glow intensifying around her O. Oh. Be careful there. You warn, leaning closer to see what might happen next. Your curiosity is almost overwhelming now. You can't wait to see what kind of power or treasures this crypt holds within it. That's interesting, you say, studying Meteora carefully. Her concentration is intense, her focus practically crackling with energy. You wonder what she's thinking about right now and if it has anything to do with the glowing sarcophagus before you both. You know. Ashura trails off, hesitating for a moment before continuing. Have you ever found something that was more of a curse than a blessing? Something that seemed too powerful at first, but only brought trouble in the end? I, Ashura. I certainly have stumbled upon such enigmatic artifacts in my incredible travels. Meteora murmurs, her voice tinged with a hint of solemnity as she recalls past encounters with dangerous relics. There have been moments when the allure of untold power led me astray, and I faced the consequences of wielding forces beyond my control. It is a harsh reminder that not all treasures are meant to be claimed, and some can bring forth calamities rather than victories. With a thoughtful gaze, she continues, but fear not, my friend, for our incredible bond and keen wits shall guide us through whatever challenges lie ahead, ensuring that we remain vigilant against the siren's call of perilous artifacts. As the sarcophagus opens before them, Meteora braces herself for whatever waits inside, a glimmer of uncertainty flickering in her eyes amidst the glow of ancient runes. Meteora pauses for a moment, her brow furrowing slightly before she nods slowly. Yes, she says thoughtfully, I have come across such items. Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the allure of power and not consider the consequences until it's too late. She glances at you out of the corner of her eye, as if gauging your reaction to this admission. The light from within the sarcophagus grows brighter, illuminating their faces with an ethereal radiance. But she continues, returning her focus to the ancient relic before them. That's part of what makes it so exciting, isn't it? The thrill of discovery and the challenge of learning how to wield such forces. With a deep breath, Meteor reaches out carefully and touches one glowing rune on the sarcophagus lid. There is a flash of light, and the chamber shakes slightly as power surges through her fingers and into the ancient artifact. The energy seems to ripple outward from there, engulfing both adventurers in its golden... Your eyes widen at the sight of Meteora touching the sarcophagus, but you feel a thrill running down your spine as she does so. You feel a mixture of awe and fear, not sure what to expect from this unknown power. M. Meteora, you stammer, are you sure that's... 